you know, because the vision that Elon has and SpaceX wants to do with, with Starship, those vehicles are, um, in theory, would hold 100, 150 passengers. And he wants to launch three a day every day once it's going. Um, I, I believe it. I was not a believer, you know, three, four years ago before this whole thing. I'm like, I, I, wasn't, I was ignorant to what was, SpaceX was doing anyways, but landing boosters and all that. But now that I've kind of seen behind the curtain and where they're going and what they're capable of, it's, it's inevitable. I mean, it's going to happen. And yeah. I'm assuming you've met him. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your impression? I, I, like, I like Elon. He, he's a great guy. He's very engaging. Uh, we've had dinner a couple times, um, part of the program. And, um, he's tireless. You know, um, he's a visionary. He's... He's just constantly thinking about, you know, just the, the little conversations that, that we had with him. It was, yeah. you know, he's, he's thinking on so many levels. Yeah. Um, uh, he's a genuine individual. I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's neat to hear. Um, I know colonizing Mars is a big uh, buck, no, bucket list, ticket item, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's a, a goal of his. What is your take on that, and, and how do you see that actually transpiring? I, I think we're doing it for the right reasons. Um, I think we start with the moon, uh, and as we learn how to get back to the lunar surface, everything that you know, we always got to keep in mind is that how is that going to benefit our quest to get to Mars? So it's it's in parallel, um, and then you know, once we get to the to the lunar surface, it's it's going to be an easier process to continue this on and and eventually get to Mars. It's um, uh, there's a lot of science benefit. To go into back to the moon and, and Mars, and um, what we can accomplish with mining, and and you know that the environment of, of microgravity and in, in, uh, in space can has already uh, allowed us the opportunity to achieve a lot of um, uh, inventions and, and and benefit to to life on Earth, and you know so I th I think those those elements and aspects are are good enough reasons. Now you throw on, we're, we're human, we're, we have curiosity, um, and we have the capability. Why not? You know, and who's to say a, an asteroid or something targets, is, is on target to hit planet Earth in 20, 30 years that completely wipes us out? Um, it's insurance policy. To, to figure out how to go live in low Earth orbit and live on Moon, live on Mars. Do you know what what his ultimate goal is uh, in terms of the the Mars specific aspect of of uh, developing it? Like what that looks like? I, I certainly can't speak on his behalf. I mean, it, it if you look at his. Companies, it all seems to line up, you know, the capability of, of electric cars and uh, uh, boring company to be able to, to create infrastructure on, on the planets and um, how that's all going to become about Starlink, another capability that is critical for these longer duration missions. When you talk about, you know, seven, eight months to get to Mars, sending a combite back to the planet. If it takes too long, by the time the response gets back, it's the problem's already solved or something catastrophic has happened. Yeah. Um, but with laser communication, that, that improves that capability. Um, so Starlink, Boring, Tesla, SpaceX, it all kind of aligns, whether that is his intent or not. And, um, how we collectively, because it's, you know, it's not just SpaceX, it's going to take a whole country. And it needs to be us. You know, I, it's the high ground. It's the ultimate high ground. It's, if we do lose to Russia or China, you know, we can't afford to take that risk um, to not pursue it because they are. Yeah. Um, I hate to be late to that fight. And we may, may, we may never recover from that race. Yeah. Uh, so as it stands right now or the projected time frame of, if, if and when it gets to the point where you can shuttle people to Mars to, to live or spend time, whatever you want to call it, it's a seven to eight month trip. That's what, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, what I've read, seven to eight months. 
If it was possible now, or if it's possible in your lifetime where physically you could do it and want it, like, would you go there? I would. Um, you know, it's, I guess it depends on what the setup is yeah. like. Take my family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>